The Vault is one of the more action-packed encounters in Last Wish. There are a lot of things happening at once, so let's break things down to see what's actually going on here. Team composition should focus on burst damage and offensive supers. While there are no bosses, there will be plenty of high health targets that spawn and need to die incredibly quickly. Night Stalkers with rigs are always welcome, but Blade Barrage is also very nice. Chaos Reach Arc Warlocks are not too bad, and Melting Point is a good utility tool to have just in case. In terms of weaponry, shockingly enough, Whisper and Sleeper are again very valuable for killing high priority targets. Shotguns are pretty good too here, but you do need to be careful when using them for reasons I will explain. The Vault is split into four rooms. The middle, where most of the combat will be, then three side rooms. My team's callouts for these rooms were Forest, or Tree, or Garden, and then Temple and Spire. You can use whatever callouts you want, left, middle, right works just fine, but I'll be using Forest, Temple, and Spire for this video. The Vault is a very intense fight, with a lot of things happening at once that you need to keep track of. The goal of the Vault encounter is to, well, open it using keys that you'll get from Eyes of Riven. The keys are the same as the Shuro encounter and have the same functionality. However, you're not going to get anywhere without first learning the lock system on the Vault itself. When you first step onto the plates in the middle of the room to start the encounter, on the lock in front of you will show three different symbols in a row. Examples are a dragon breathing fire to the left of the right, two snakes in various positions, a bird, stuff like that. These are actually codes as to where you need to place your keys into the lock. During the encounter, you'll be killing Eyes of Riven and you'll be picking up their Taken Essence. You will be debuffed as usual, but you will have the debuff with Penumbra or Antumbra as a modifier on the debuff. This is important because it tells you what kind of key the Taken Essence is, Penumbra or Antumbra. The problem is that putting a key into the wrong slot will cause you to die and will cause you to lose that key, which is basically in all instances a wipe. So how do you figure out which key goes where? Well, let's go back to the icons on the lock. You can start callouts from anywhere in the room, but my team usually likes to start with the middle lock, aka temple side, just for consistency. The first player will look at the middle icon that they have and ask the other two players if they also have that icon. If one of them does have that icon, they will mention what side that icon is on, left or right. If it's on the left side, then that lock is a penumbra lock. If it's on the right side, it's an antumbra lock. The person who responded then asks who has their middle icon and determines what kind of lock that they have and same for the third. Let's do an example. Temple Plate says, my middle is an eight snake. Who has an eight snake? The forest plate answers, I have an eight snake, it's on the right side. This means that the forest plate is an antumbra plate. The forest plate then asks, I have a dragon holding a spear, does anyone have that? The spire plate answers, I do, it's on the left. That means the spire plate is a penumbra plate. While you technically don't need the information of the last plate since you can just do it last, you should probably find out the information anyway just in case. So in this specific example, the forest plate needs an antumbra key, the spire plate needs a penumbra key, and the temple plate can be done last. Here's an in-game example. Devon, beat my butt. Who has dragon with spear through neck? I do. I have it on the right. Antumbra. Uh, who has eight snake? I do. It's on my left. That's penumbra, and we're good. Yeah. All of that happens within the first few seconds of the encounter. What will normally happen is you'll start the fight, make your callouts based on the icons, kill adds, and then move into the next part. So let's assume that you have your callouts under control. What actually happens next to get the keys into the locks? Let's continue. After you clear a lot of the adds in the area, two of the three rooms will close off and one will stay open. More adds will spawn in that open room, along with waves of scions spawning in the main room itself, 
in between the floor plates and the doorways to the other rooms. Finally, an Eye of Ribbon will spawn in the back of the open room and will drop its Taken Essence. Now, whether the Taken Essence is Penumbra or Antumbra seems to be random at this time. The moment the Eye of Ribbon dies, the room that it was in will close, locking out anyone still in the room. The only people who should be in the room at the time of the Eye's death is the runner and possibly an escort if needed. At this time, a new room will open up and the Taken Essence runner will need to run to that new room in order to drop their key into the lock. Around the perimeter of the three outer rooms are pathways that link them in a circle. This is where you run to get the key back to the middle room. Two reminders. Number one, you as the Taken Essence holder have a gun with unlimited ammo that deals a lot of damage. You should use it. Number two, the debuff also still applies. If you pick up a Taken Essence, you're locked out from being able to pick up another until your debuff is gone. After the Taken Essence is picked up, you will have a Might of Riven spawn in one of the three rooms, again, seemingly at random. The Might of Riven is mostly a passive enemy, but will occasionally want to slap you with its sword, and it's a one-shot at lower power levels, so be very careful. The Might of Riven also has a lot of health, and is essentially a security check for the vault. It'll walk into the main room and stab a lock with its sword. If it's allowed to sit there with its sword in the lock for too long, about five seconds or so, it will activate the override of the vault and you will all die. The Might of Riven needs to be found and killed immediately while also killing other adds that spawn in the room and in the currently unlocked room. When the key runner gets back to the main room by running around, they need to use their grenade ability on the correct plate based on the icon callouts from earlier and based on if they have a penumbra or antumbra key. When they drop their key in the correct spot, the entire cycle starts over again, starting from the room that is currently open. You'll kill the Eye of Riven again, get a new key, open a new door, and so on. The only thing that changes is the Might of Riven. On the first key, it's one might. On the second, it's two mites. And on the third, yep, three of them. Once you get all three keys into the locks, that's one lock down, and you'll repeat getting three keys two more times for a total of three locks or nine keys. When you get one lock completed, you'll see a laser beam go to the door in front of you. You'll also need to step on the plates again for new icon callouts because those reset too. You only get three minutes to complete one lock. Otherwise, the room explodes and you wipe. If you ever lose a key, for any reason, 99% of the time it will be a wipe because you probably won't be able to get another key fast enough. As for the flow of the encounter, you'll start with your icon callouts and killing ads in the room. You should be in the process or have killed your first Eye of Riven in around 50 seconds, although if you can do it faster, that's good. The key runner will run around the rooms getting back to the main room while the inside team locates and kills the Might of Riven. My number one tip is be careful standing around the plates, as Scions will be spawning in and can instigive you if you're standing in the middle of them. This was easily the biggest cause of death when first learning the encounter. When the key runner gets to the middle room, they'll drop their key in, and then people should work on killing the next Eye of Riven, which will be spawning in the currently open room after a couple of waves of ads. This process repeats another two times, then after you get your first laser beam, you'll do another set of Penumbra or Antumbra callouts, then another three keys, then another set of callouts, and then another three keys. The hardest part of the vault is probably killing the Mites of Riven, at least at low power levels, especially in the third phase where there's three of them and only one of them is able to be shot at early. This is where you want to be burning supers and other burst damage things. Do not be afraid to use your super on a Mite of Riven, especially when there's three. Whisper and Sleeper are good for staggering the knights as well in order to delay them. Be careful with Blade Barrage, as you may send some knights flying all over the place. The vault is a bit of a doozy. Again, there are ads all over the place, callouts that need to be made, keys dropped in very specific spots, and priority targets that need to be killed. There is essentially no room for error in this encounter besides a couple of deaths here and there. Mechanically, if you mess something up, it is likely a wipe. A key in the wrong spot, losing a key, Might of Riven activates the override, are all wipe territory. 
Practice this one piece at a time. It's a very hectic fight and is much less forgiving than any of the previous fights. There's only the slimmest of chances to recover from a failure, so you do need to be almost perfect. If you do manage to crack the vault, then hit up the next guide to meet your final opponent.